In this video, we're gonna go over about 17 tools that are gonna unlock beast mode for any solopreneur. Because as a solopreneur, you're wearing like so many hats. So starting with this tool called Jitterdog Video. This is a design tool that makes animation super easy for people who don't have any animation or design experience whatsoever. This tool has a free plan. So when you sign up, you can just start off with any of the templates. So the templates I love using the most is one for logo animation. If we go to logo here on the left, you're gonna see like some of these templates. Just go to the editor, add your logo, add your text, and the animation is gonna be ready to go. Some other other cool animation templates this tool has is one for devices so let's say you're doing mock-up or any app you're doing any digital products you're doing and if you go to the social media templates you're gonna see some couple cool interesting ones one is like the new message notification style you probably see people use these in their videos or in their marketing assets and there is one which is like animated text so like as if somebody's typing and then you type something back again you can use this for like clever marketing plays or for content or for instagram stories that saves me a lot of time because i don't have to hire anybody else neither do i have to spend so much time learning this new skill to do these these animations myself and if these templates are not cutting it really for what you want to do or you want to do something even more fancier you can use this next tool which is called Artboat studio it's like canva but i really like their animation templates so if we go to their template section they really bring all the aesthetics that you need for any instagram content i think this is super useful for anyone who's like doing the e-commerce or other product-based businesses because you have like all these templates for like sales or promotions posts stories reels whatever you want everyone pretty much uses canva so these templates kind of break the noise a little bit and give something fresh and it looks like there's a lot more hard work done behind these designs while you're just using a template speaking of canva so this next tool is a canva on steroids for designers so it's called kittle it's one of the new ones in the market and it's kind of like in between photoshop and canva so it's like as easy to use as canva but it has some functionality they can do complex stuff like photoshop so i like using this tool specifically for logos because their templates are super cool you can do like product labels you can do product design you can do a lot of mock-up social media but if we go to logos we're gonna see these templates there's an option where you can also filter it by like the theme you're looking for for example retro futurism which is kind of cool so if you're just using canva for your logo maybe give this a shot and see if this makes a difference and like really makes your logo pop one of the cool features what makes kittle apart from canva is like how easily you can kind of edit their text side of things so we're just gonna use one of these logos as an example and now on the right side you're gonna see this menu which is gonna help you edit the text super quickly you can change the way the text is oriented you can kind of like have a design in between the letters and i'm not a designer so pardon my you know design vocabulary here but to me like it's super useful if i just want to get something aesthetic super quickly i can just use this tool to get the design work going if you quickly want to create some assets for your digital products the tool i love using the most is called design stripe in this video i want to specifically talk about the tool which is called 3d mockups so if you go to 3d mockups you're going to see a whole bunch of these super cool templates that you're not going to find anywhere else that you can use to basically slap on your product page you know if you're selling a course or like have a template any other digital asset you're trying to do these templates already exist so all you have to do is just like upload the photo of your product and it's gonna change that in the template so you can have these creative assets ready to go instantly all these design tools are supposed to save you time so even if you don't have any design experience but you need to do design work for your solopreneur life you can just get it done quickly without even hiring a designer but of course as you're scaling up i would recommend you hire a designer so again you know you can save you this much time and you can delegate better moving on from design into some social media stuff to help you expand your presence so this tool is called repurpose let's say you create a video on tiktok what this tool is going to do it's going to take your video from tiktok automatically remove the watermark and it's going to automatically post your content across all different platforms you can post your tiktok to reels to youtube shorts to facebook reels to linkedin whatever platform you want to play with or where your audience is this tool will automatically do that for you without the watermark i have a whole video on like tutorial and an honest review of this tool so if you want to dive deeper into this tool you can check out that video so the next tool is called mini chat have you ever seen those posts where people say like hey comment this keyword and then i will send you the link and as soon as you comment the keyword you get the link instantly this is the tool everybody's been using this is like a super useful tool to do lead magnet stuff to build your mailing list and to automatically dm links to people through instagram and all that stuff doesn't really require any prior technical expertise they have all those templates pre-made but sometimes i do a reel and ask people to comment a word so they can get a youtube video link if they want to watch a longer content maybe you found this video with the same automation as well basically like you can start with a template and you can just edit the keywords you want to use the post you want to use for the video and then the message you want to customize to send to the people you can also add custom names to the people so like when somebody gets a message it actually says hey their name automatically but let me know if you want me to cover this tool in like much detail i can do a separate video because there's so much to unwrap here the next tool we're going to look at is called grid bank so grid bank is basically stock videos but specifically for tiktok or instagram reels maybe your brand 
content is a static or your e-commerce site or something else you want to do motivational content lifestyle content and if you don't want to create the content you can leverage this website so you can search by the keywords you can search by the industry and you're going to see a bunch of these clips that you can use in your content some of the ideas are maybe you can just have text on the screen and like get people to read the caption or you just want to like you know add some con like you know some inspirational content some other aesthetic content so i've used grid bank before for one of my apps where i would get the scenes where somebody's on the computer and then i would have like separate shot of my app being a demo in the video so this helped me basically replace a content creator altogether by a monthly membership where i was able to just pick this clips which were super aesthetic and highly engaging and i was able to use this and then just my screen recording to create the whole month of content super quickly when you ever need content ideas of course you can search on youtube you can search on google you can go to tiktok you can go to instagram go by hashtags but there's also a clever way of doing that so if you go to this website called answer the public you can see what people are asking about across various platforms so we're talking about google bing tiktok youtube amazon so let's say if you want to do youtube just type what kind of like niche or topic that you want you're interested in so in this case maybe we'll say yeah, marketing and choose your geographical location so we'll just say us and now what this tool is going to do it's going to basically go and do all the data crunching to find you the keywords people are using and the questions people are asking on these platforms if people are asking those questions on the platform which means there's an appetite for the content so maybe your content strategy could be then just using those questions and answering those questions in your videos or whichever content form you're doing newsletter twitter linkedin whatever but now at least you know that there's a demand for that content and you're leveraging the data to create the content on those topics so hopefully you're going to get more engagement than before you get like three daily searches on the free plan that's pretty much plenty for me because i don't have to do this every single day i only do it once in a while whenever i'm out of ideas it saves you a lot of time for doing content research for social media or seo so the next tool is called really good emails anyone who's passionate about email marketing this is like a gold mine for you whatever you're struggling with wherever you think the friction points are in your buyer's journey or whichever emails you want to improve you can just search for the category the industry and this tool is basically is the library of all the emails top brands are sending so if you do abandoned cart email you're going to see a whole bunch of examples how some of the big companies are doing it and you can use that as an inspiration and compare it with their existing email to see what the gaps are and this is going to help you become a better email marketer you can filter by industries you can filter by categories you can filter by user behavior whichever email you're trying to do so there's lots to unpack here this next tool is basically for all the ai nerds it's called prompt genie you know what this says is that garbage in is garbage out so if your prompt is not good enough chat gpt isn't going to get you any good answers to get good answers from chat gpt you really need to be super specific with your prompt telling like chat gpt exactly what it needs so you can get better results but writing prompts is hard right i mean we're not prompt engineers none of us are it's such a new thing anyway what a noob <laughs> with prompt genie all you have to do is type in what kind of prompt you're looking for i'm just going to use a demo from their website so it's called creating brand identity so as soon as you say what kind of prompt you're looking for for example creating a brand guide for environment friendly reusable water bottles so i'm kind of defining what prompt i want and i'm defining my product now this tool is giving me a really detailed prompt that i could use in chat gpt to get some really good results so if you're new to chat gpt or any of those tools like claude gemini and you're struggling to get good results use this tool and see if the new prompts are making a difference and this next tool is a chrome extension called css peeper it's kind of sneaky really let's say you are doing any research for like branding or what have you and then you really like assets from a certain website if you go to any website and you just click on this chrome extension this chrome extension is going to show you all the brand assets from that website so on the first tab here it shows the fonts they're using then if you go to second tab it has the hex code and all the colors that brand is using on that web page and if you go to the third tab it has all the assets so you have all the icons and logos that the website is using you can just export to be fair i'm not sure how the copyright issue lands here you know you are technically stealing somebody else's creative work but hey you know if you're just doing it for inspiration this is a tool that exists for you and if you want to save more time and start giving your work to ai for real you need to check out central by zapier so central by zapier it's basically automation meets ai where you just have to describe what you want ai to do connect the apps that you think ai should talk to and now it will do the tasks for you for example i have a bot that's kind of like my executive assistant i asked my bot to tell me which emails are important i need to respond to or have this bot which is like my data analyst so i've connected my google sheet and i just ask bot to summarize the insights from a data automatically if you go to zapier central's website there's tons of use cases for inspiration that you can see you can also check out their zapier channel you may or may not find this guy in some of the videos but yeah so if you want to automate your work zapier central is basically the go-to place even if you're a beginner because you can just use natural language 
language to start talking about the automations you want to build and the AI will do the rest for you. As a solopreneur, like you need to start automating more work than ever. The more work you automate, the more time you will have to actually do the work you're supposed to do. Because I'm pretty sure you wanted to be solopreneur to have more free time versus like working nine to five anyway, right? Now let's talk about a couple of tools which are really good for marketing intelligence. So one of my favorite tools is called Similar Web. If you have the Chrome extension installed, when you go to any website, all you have to do is click on the Chrome extension and it's gonna show you so much data about that competitor. You get to see what traffic they're getting, where they're getting the traffic from, what's their bounce rate, all the critical vitals from a company's website. And then if you wanna explore even further, if just on the free plan, just go to the website for Similar Web, type in any website you want to spy on. It's gonna tell you the marketing channels for this website, which platforms you're getting the social media traffic from, if they're doing any display advertising, what keywords are using if they are, and so much more data. I mean, I'm a data nerd, so I love getting into data and like kind of snoop around how much traffic different websites are coming up with and what their traffic sources are. It helps me kind of get a bit of insight into their marketing strategy, and I use that for inspiration to improve my own. On the same topic, if you use this Chrome extension called Wapilizer and go to any competitor or any product page that, that you like, it's gonna show you all the tools and widgets they're using. For example, if we go to Lululemon, it's gonna tell us what tool they're using for personalization, what they're using for affiliates, what they're using for their analytics. It has all that list for you. So super useful for quick research. And then if you go to this website called inflag.com, go to the tools tab. Under profile, you're gonna find this tool called Analyzer. So just type in the username of your competitor's social media account or whoever you really wanna spy on. So this tool is gonna give you some insights you probably didn't know before. We have their average likes, their average comments, some activity stuff, the publishing frequency, post per week. I mean, of course you can get the data just looking at the profile, but if you scroll further down, it's also kind of giving us a quick overview of like what time are they posting, when they're getting most engagement, what hashtags they're using, the words they're using in their caption. If you're new to social media, you're trying to build your strategy, you can use this for similar accounts and kind of get some insights on what you need to do or what you shouldn't do. Let me know which tool was your favorite and like if there's any tool that everyone should definitely know, just leave it in the comment. If the video was useful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more design marketing and ad tools to help you do your job better. I'll see you next time.